Hey, how are you going? It's CW here, your success enabler. And this video is for you if you struggle to place value on, on yourself, basically, whether it be the work that you do in your job, um, you know, your abilities in your chosen sport, or it could be even your parenting, you know, struggling to value yourself and the value that you put on yourself. And I was thinking about if we if we pull a muscle, we go to the physio because, you know, we value what they do to take that pain away from us. And, and we don't generally question um, how much it costs. So, you know, we value what they do and we really want to come to a place where we put that value, that same sort of level of unquestionable value upon ourselves. And I'm going to talk to a business in a business con context, context, because I really do have some experience with not valuing what I'm actually worth, um, and not really placing that value on myself was was really affecting me in in many ways. So um, I was reading this. I guess what sort of brought this, this to mind was reading this quote that. Um, in order to grow, we must first break. And I was thinking how many times I've broken in my life, you know? I've broken in massive ways, um, I've broken in lesser ways, um, but generally now every time I break, I grow. And it's when we don't grow from the experiences we have that we, we carry those hurts into our present and they, they start to affect how we, we are and how we value ourselves. You know, it might be old hurts from past friendships. It might be, um, you know, experiences of, of bad relationships. It could be um, the experience of loss, the experience of failure, um, past mistakes, past experiences where we've been embarrassed. Um, or tragedy, even tragedy, well, especially tragedies. You know, every single one of those experiences creates a belief within ourselves that, that really affects our future action. And those, those beliefs generally lower our confidence and they generally lower our self-worth and our belief in our abilities. So how much we like ourselves, how much we um, value ourselves and how much we believe in ourselves, it just starts to go less and less and less as we go through experiences that tar us, that taint us, that we don't grow from. So that actually completely skews our perspective on life and it, it really affects the opportunities that we, that we take and it really affects the opportunities that we run away from. And that is why if you're struggling right now with your own self-worth and placing value on yourself, if you're in a business where you're just unable to charge what you're, you're worth, you know, you're not even able to ask for the sale, then these three tips are going to be for you. And the first, the first thing is to really acknowledge that the experience happened. You might need some coaching to really dig down into into the experiences experience that is at the crux. There's usually you know a handful of experiences that have created those beliefs. There's usually one that is um, bigger than the others, and it may may take some coaching to actually identify what that experience is. But to actually acknowledge it that it happened is the first step. And then the second step is to remember who you were before that experience or, or that cascade of experiences. You know, who were you before that? You know, what, what did you believe before that? What did you think was possible before that? And, and like, who, who, who were you? You know, get to know that person again. The third thing is to set a vision of the person that you want to become beyond where you are right now and beyond that experience that, that has held you back. Um, and those three things are my three tips. 
because, and I'm sharing them because a big, a big part of how it exploded my, my income in 2018 was actually placing value on what I have to offer as a coach. Um, and by the way, if you are looking for ways to make more income in 2019, if you're, if you're not already in a home business, but you want to be, then reach out to me and I'll share what I'm doing in addition to my coaching that might be interesting to you. So I hope that was helpful and I hope that you're enjoying the weekend and I will definitely 100% see you here very soon. Okay, bye-bye.